It's a little hard. Please get out. I got my pistachio latte here. I feel like every plant video or plant tuber has to have like a drink routine type of situation in their video. And I'm one of them. <laughs> I want to feature a new plant that I picked up at my local um, plant shop it's called the plant sitter and they have specialty and rare plants available as well as your you know common house plants i was looking at their inventory yesterday and i spent like two hours there with my friend and at the corner of my eye i noticed a plant that looks familiar at the same time different so before i get into what i got at the store um i want to show you my favorite plant so this is the philodendron billetier billetai billy there's a lot of ways to pronounce this plant but this is one of my favorite plants in the whole world what i like about it is the leaf structure And the leaves are like a dark green with a blue hue to it. In contrast with the orange petiole, it's everything. But yeah, this is the philodendron TA. And my next favorite is the Florida, philodendron Florida. This is the leaf structure of the Florida. Do you see the ribbing, like the ribs on this? The creases? I don't know what you call it. But yeah, some people call this like um, horse head or something. Reindeer philodendron. Excuse me. Mimi. No, no. Back it up. Um, yeah. So if you combine these two amazing plants this is what you get this is exactly what you get <clears throat> okay take a moment and look at the leaves this is a hybrid philodendron and the plant shop owner told me that this is pretty uncommon and there are not many out there so to speak um, this is the philodendron Billy X Florida OMG okay so do you see like the lobing of the um, Florida green here and then the leaf texture and strappiness of the billy and on this one the petiole is a bit darker in color it's less orange but, but a bit darker more on the red side 
and I'm so excited to add this to my collection. I knew it looked like a Billy and when I took it off the shelf and looked at the tag and it is potted in some perlite and moss. So here it is next to the Billy. Do you see the leaf structure? Here it is next to the other parent. So just forget, you know, the rare variegated plants and get yourself one of this. And it is pretty reasonable in price. This hybrid is everything. If you love the Billy and you love the Florida, this is this is it. This is the baby that you want to add to your collection. And it looks like there's some variegation on it. I don't know if there will be ever variegation on this. I also got a Deschidia here. And it also came with a fern. <laughs> I saw the fern. The fern was what I was drawn to in the beginning. And so I basically got it for the fern, but I get a bonus, which is the Deschidia. And she was like, oh yeah, I, the, the plant shop owner was like, I seen the fern in there and I thought it was cute so I put it on the shelf for whoever wants to pick it up and I'm the person who put, picked it up. <laughs> so I got a Deschidia and a fern which I will be doing a repotting portion for these plants so stay tuned for that. In this section of the video, the audio was cut off, so I'll be doing a voiceover. I want to share this unique clear planter I discovered at my local plant shop. It features a drainage hole and it comes with a matching saucer, which is pretty uncommon. I'd love to know if you've seen something similar or a planter in your area like this one. Also, I added some felt padding that I got from the dollar store to the bottom of the saucer and this will help protect the surface where I'll place the planter on. They come in strips like this and I just cut them up into pieces and stick them onto the saucer. So I added four pieces to the bottom here. I noticed that the glass planter is pretty big. So I'm just gonna use about half of the planter and not fill it up all the way. As I was working, I noticed that the moss was a bit dry, so I decided to submerge the root ball in a cup of water. This makes it easier to remove the substrate. I was recording and the microphone was not on this whole time, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways, um, all I did was soak the root ball in some water so that it's easier to remove the, the, the medium. Hey, chill. Chill out. Chill out. You were just playing with a stick.
<laughs> Dude, this cat is like a dog. Like, is it even a cat? Are you mixed with a dog? I'm telling you. Watch. Ready? I'm going to demonstrate what I mean. Hocus Pocus. Buckley's. Cardi B. He just wants to play and play. Okay, ready? Watch, watch, ready? Fetch, go! Literally a dog. Okay. Let me start to do the roots situation. He's back. He he wants to play. He wants to play right now. I soaked the roots in water. Now it's pretty easy to just pull away the sphagnum moss here. Um, and I'm just going to work this through. Look at all the roots coming out. I'm really excited to watch it grow. Um, I'm curious to see if, you know, the leaf will have more um, of the lobing definition, like how the Florida does, or will it just stay this like oblong shape with the texture of a billy? Who knows? I've tried to search up like the mature plant of this. I didn't get any results because I feel like don't quote me on this, but this plant hybrid is new. Um, I've seen like listings from, you know, the uh, in the um, in Asia, and I don't really see this around here. Let me know if this plant is common around you as well. Um, it's the next day. As you can see, I'm drinking a different, um, coffee today. I'm drinking black coffee with some sugar. Look at him. I wonder if this is a cutting or... Hey, babe, stop. Or a... Um... Oh, yeah, it, it looks like a cutting. So this is not tissue culture. Or is it tissue culture? I don't know. It's a hybrid. Plant scientists, please tell me. I literally took half <laughs> of the substrate off. The other half is still here. I think I'm just going to leave that other half, to be honest, because it's a little hard. Please get down. I have some chunky soil mix. Mix. And I'm just going to fill up the vessel with some of that good stuff. And place Z plant in there. So I ended up use, utilizing about 75% of the pot, which once it grows more, you know, eventually I will raise the soil level. But for now, 
it's just gonna stay about that much. What I also like to do is, as I am watering the plant, I will wash the leaves just to get rid of any um, stains or watermarks. It will help with um, the pest management thing. So I'm gonna wash the leaves off. Let me put this on a lower setting. I'm going to wash the underside of the leaf as well. Making sure there's no pests. Also wash the petiole. And water it in. So it's much later now, as you can tell. Um, the weather has gotten a little hot. Let's get to repotting this plant. I mentioned earlier that this was a Deschidia. Oh, that's what I was told at the plant shop that this was a Deschidia. But once I did some research on this plant, it turns out that this is a whole different genus. But the care is similar to the Hoyas and Deschidia. This is called, um, the common name is Silver Dollar Vine. The scientific name is something Siso. Something like that. I'll leave it, you know, on the screen so you guys could see. But, yeah, let's get to repotting this. I'm going to separate the fern because um, the silver dollar vine likes to dry out. And the fern does not. So, you know, I don't know how this is surviving in this planter. It could also be that this fern tolerates some drying out. I don't know what type of fern this is at all. It was just growing in this pot. I'm going to repot the silver dollar vine in this um, gray terracotta pot. And for the fern, I'm going to use this uh, orange terracotta plastic um, pot. There's some moss on here and I'm going I'm going to attempt to save it.
I'm also going to try to um, revive the moss here by placing it in some sphagnum moss. So I'm going to take some moss here and a little bit more. Okay. The moss looks like it's saturated. Now you could just wring it out. Okay. Place it in there. Now, just gonna take some cling wrap here and wrap the cup. Ooh, stick to the plant, don't you? All right, and hopefully that will regrow. It looks like it's perking back up already. But I got a fern from that plant as well as the silver dollar vine and the star of the show is this baby here thank you for watching guys bye it is just so hot right now but yeah thank you for watching um, be sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see some more planty content and yeah that's everything I want to talk about and the star of the show here. We just appreciate this plant one more time before I leave. Um, yeah. Alright, bye guys.